Oh, no, after, I mean, the feeling of Omaha and just sitting with them, I mean, it's the easiest decision I would make. I would have regretted it not coming back with, I mean, all the talent we had coming in, the guys, and just being a, be able to be a leader. Um, just so much turnover from last year, I just felt like I owed it to them. And me, Luke, and Russ had kind of talked about it. We all owed it to the staff and to the team just to come back and kind of be, um, have another year where we can impact the team, but also kind of turn over a new leaf where the players from my first year, my second year are kind of gone and leaving and then kind of have a new uh, new people to take place and kind of take leadership. Does this team feel like last year's team? Different it's always every year is different. It, um, it just depends on the guys. You kind of see about midway what kind of team you have, but um, I mean, the, you can always tell vibes are really good. Characters are great. Um, it's different vibes than last year, but it's all it's all good vibes. So going off that, is there more excitement this year than years past, considering the success of last season? I think it's always more. You, you kind of get to Omaha last year and you don't do your best, and I think everybody now kind of knows what to expect and we get there we're going to make a run I mean you go back to 2019 we lose in a regional we lose in a um, game one of Hoover and then we kind of see what we learned from from there and that's the kind of program that coach V and Frank and all them one is one that's resilient um, that we get there and we kind of see what it's like but now there's nothing that can surprise us we're ready for any task that's ahead of us you've seen a lot of pitchers come in here through the years how different is it seeing guys like Chase Burns and Chase wow. Dolander walk in here it's unreal. I mean, Joyce's changeups faster than my best fastball. So, um, I mean, it's the first time that I've. I mean, you don't have big league staffs that have five guys that can touch 100 mile per hour, and it's just unreal the talent and how confident these guys are in themselves. That's that's the part that blew my mind more than their stuff was just they believe in how they can pitch and getting outs, and I think that's bigger than just the numbers themselves. How can you be a leader to those guys this season? It's just kind of walking them through and kind of helping them believe in themselves. Um, like I said, those guys are more talented than I could ever be, and for them, it's just getting the getting the reps and just being having confidence in themselves. I mean, I don't think there's going to be a better staff in the country than those guys, and it's just um, it's just going to be fun to watch them and be able to pitch behind them. Looking ahead this weekend, is there a specific plan for you, or is it just kind of based on the situation? It's all based on the situation. I think it's how it's going to be all all year. It's kind of how Coach Vitell has been since I've been here. It's um, situational, be ready for anything. One week you might be a starter, the next week you might be closing, and vice versa. It's just that's kind of the the game plan for us is next, next task up. So, Outside of you and Kirby and Camden, I mean, who are those other guys in the bullpen that have kind of taken that next step? I mean, there's a lot of guys. Um, just you have people like Jake Fitzgibbons. You have guys like Sewell who can start, who can come out of the bullpen. Um, there's just a lot. It's really not there's a, not a handful of guys. There's a bunch of guys that could do it, and I, I don't know what the role is going to be for anybody. Um, ben Joyce is another guy. Just kind of up in the air. It's just going to be games going to dictate it, matchups and all that. Are there young young arms other than Burns that have stood out? Oh yeah, for me, um, one of my favorite guys, Wyatt Evans. He's a tall lefty, just heavy fastball, and I think he'll um, definitely have an impact this year out of the pen. Maybe some midweek stuff. Drew Beam's another one. Um, kind of came in with just recovering off of Tommy John. And you can see as the over Christmas the progression he's made. He went from 90 to touching 95 and just being really effective for us. So there's a bunch of young arms out there that could have a huge impact this year. Last year, you, you guys had the walk off in the first series against Georgia Southern. Um, I felt like that kind of set the tone for the season. Is it important to kind of try to set the tone this weekend? It always I The first weekend is just a big, for a lot of guys, just a big point. You get your first action against another team. You get tired of kind of playing the Vols every weekend, scrimmages and stuff. And um, for a lot of younger players, it's huge just to kind of get that momentum rolling for the season. Um, it helped guys like Liam Spence last year. He's the guy who hit the grand slam against them, and you can kind of see that throughout the season he was hot almost from that series on, ended up batting 400 to the last week of SEC. So, um, no, for a lot of guys it is, and I, I think it's just something that we'll just keep persevering, and I think it'll be a good weekend for us. How different is it to be in uniform and not be right next to the locker with Pete Durkay or <laughs> Will Heflin? Oh, that's the biggest difference. You play your whole career with those guys. Heflin I haven't played before and just kind of um, not being there every day with them. I still talk to them a lot, but 
Um, it's weird not seeing Pete Derke in a Tennessee baseball uniform, I'll say that. I would imagine so. And, and what's it like now to have Jackson as the volunteer assistant as well <laughs> as Ricky Martinez back on the staff? I mean, you almost have more teammates on the staff than you do <laughs> playing with you. No, that's the best part. Um, me and Richard had, had a great relationship. He was my throwing partner my second year here, and it's just – it's awesome to have somebody you go to, even with stuff outside of baseball. He's kind of like my um, my guy for everything. I, if I have a problem outside of baseball, family, friends, he's the first person I call, and he's kind of the same way. So it's awesome to have guys like that that, as players, you can go to for anything. And as coursework goes, I mean, you've got your degree. What are you working on now, and what's the, what are the demands from that <laughs> next level? So um, I wanted to do something where it benefit me. I didn't want to do a kind of a – boring major so I ended up doing a it's a certificate program that's going to allow me to teach engineering later on so hopefully Professor Walsh is the next thing you'll be calling me. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all. Thank, thank you. you.